Okay, so I'm not very good at this sort of stuff. So, as you can already tell right now, I am not exactly as I have made things to appear on YouTube here and everything, but I have reasons for that, which is pretty much what this entire voiceover slash video is. Uh, none of this is on script, so I'm just pretty much coming from the heart and everything. Um, well, I guess first things first, it's pretty much time for me to stop hiding and to try to be myself as I want to be. And with that, I mean, I guess it's just time I let everyone know. Uh, I pretty much identify as a female, so that would make me a transvestite. Um, I think I've known about this for a very long time. I just haven't been able to actually confront myself with that and acknowledge it because of how I was raised. But one of the reasons why it's been almost three years since I've actually made any videos is because of my place of living and of what has been restricted to me and everything. During that one year, I was actually able to make videos and put them on YouTube. Was pretty much the one year I was allowed to do things that I wanted to do without restriction. Because of where I was living with my parents was very unhealthy for me. With so many rules and restrictions, no access to any kind of computer or even the internet, and pretty much being forced to work every waking moment that I was up from about 6 a.m. to midnight or later, even if I had a job. It's been getting to me. I've, I mean, I have been on suicide watch for a number of years because of this. Even my job when I was at Time Warner, I was on suicide watch and I was actually in the hospital for a few months because of all the stress that has been induced on me. That's another story for another time, but because of where I was living with my parents these past few years, it's been hard for me. They are from a older generation, particularly my dad, that doesn't believe in certain things. Like anyone that has any kind of interest in the same gender or transvestites or anything like that. With that in mind it's I'm not sure what the right term is like I said I'm not very good at this kind of stuff and the main reason I'm not doing this with a camera is because well for one I am not someone that really likes cameras and two, I would say this is probably a half and half compromise, but as I have said, I'm, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. I'm, I've been sheltered most of my life, and with that, I have also pretty much been forced to think of certain things in a certain way. 
as well as just the way I've been brought up. Um, but I have been having a very abusive relationship with my parents, mostly with my father, as I explained earlier. And with that, pretty much, if I was not working myself to death, I should not even be alive. If I wasn't constantly breaking my back, I should not be allowed to exist. Even with my job that I have, even now at Home Depot, where I am literally breaking my back, loading things up for customers all day. Second I get home, I better be working in his yard doing his stuff for him while he sits down and gets to do whatever he wants because that's the way the world should work for him. I can't say anything about that to him because I am not going to let that get out of control, which it will if I say anything to him. It has been like this for many years, and I have gotten sick of it, which is bringing me up to my next point. I am actually out of my place of living with my parents. I have made a very, very long trip to a place with my friends so that I can actually find myself and be me. I am quite happy, I should say, at the moment, but also still trying to discover who I am and what I am. It's also five in the morning over here in Arizona at the time of this recording, so I may be a little tired. But I have made the trip, and my stress levels have gone down very uh, much, I should say. Even my blood pressure has dropped to well beyond normal levels, which is a good thing. I can finally actually stop having to worry about that now. But while I may not have my own place, I am actually better off with my friends here than if I was to be alone, as I cannot really function by myself. When I was alone, during that time I was making all the videos and everything, I was very depressed and I couldn't even get basic things done, like keeping my place of living properly cleaned and even being able to communicate with other people. While I'm not saying it's a complete 180 changer over here in Arizona compared to Texas, it is a lot better. I'm actually able to kind of communicate with my roommates and my friends who have been very supported of me this whole time and honestly if it wasn't for them I would not have even considered coming back to YouTube or even trying to move on and try and find out who and what I am it's overwhelming really because I've always been a shut in and sheltered I don't really open up to people and everything. Um, I mean, I even have my own desk here with most of my stuff set up, at least in the room that I have available to me. And I like it. I mean, I wouldn't have even been able to get a desk back at my parents' house. And... 
good news, I actually also have access to the internet now. Where I was last, even when I was actually able to access a phone, it was slower than dial-up because that's the hill country for you. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I guess you consider this a life lesson or a life update and everything. Um, I guess to make everything as short as possible, which I'm trying to, because this is just a big, long, random rant, I guess you could say. Um, I finally moved out of the abusive living relationship I've had with my parents and everything. I am, I guess you would say in a traditional sense, a transvestite. I do identify as a woman. And yes, while I had been using a voice modulator on my Let's Plays and everything, um, I'm sick of hiding, so I figured it would be best just to reveal myself and come out and let everyone know. I know that after watching this, a lot of people are probably going to unfriend me or question me or anything like that. All I can say is your beliefs are your own. See to it as you do see fit. I will not be hurt by it. Those that are true friends will stay. Those that are judgmental and cannot be open-minded can leave. But that is up to them. I have been suffering from a lot of abuse my whole life. I just will not take it anymore. Which is why I've been revealing myself this whole time. Um, with that said, there's not much more I can say about that, but I do want to let everyone know this channel will no longer be doing Let's Plays. Instead, I will be moving this to do other things. As for what, I am not 100% sure. Perhaps review of games because YouTube for me is all about having fun. I don't mind if I get paid for it. I know I won't because I do not make enough videos with the YouTube algorithm as it is now. Nor do I have enough subscribers. That's okay. I've always done this for fun. That's been my belief. But... I will continue to do Let's Plays, just not here. Instead, it will be my entire roommate's channel, as we have all decided to combine ourselves to do one big channel for doing all of our videos. Think of it as like the Super Gaming Brothers, and how some call me Johnny is, which I should also thank. Because it is thanks to him that I've also been able to keep a level head, though not directly from him. Indirectly, his videos have helped me. And if I ever got the chance to meet him, I would love to thank him. But with this channel, I'm going to be doing some other things. As for what, I'm not sure. I am also going to be starting to try and do Twitch again under the, the same name that is on here. However, the Twitch will be a mix of games and also a mix of model kit building since that is one of my passions of building and painting model kits. As for getting that set up, I do have most of this set up and I may be doing a stream sometime during June. I do not know yet as I am still working out a schedule with my work since I did move a thousand miles away 
and have transferred to another store. Um, if I do decide whatever it is I'm going to do, I want to stick with it. I would love to go back to drawing art and everything for a living, but that will take time in order for me to actually be able to make money off of that from commissions and have enough to pay for bills. While I only have to pay a little bit here, every dollar counts for now. Um, if you haven't been able to tell during this whole time, I do have a entirely new mic set up. I have this right here that I am using a SM57 as well as some Eurorack, uh, I guess you could say soundboard, I don't know the right term. I have that made and everything thanks to my friend. Um, I hope it will be worth the investment in the long run. Uh, I only did pay about 150 for all of this to get it set up, but if it's worth it in the long run, then it definitely is. Um, as for the future, I mean, we will see. Um, but I am tired of hiding. It's time that I come out and you know if everyone accepts it that's great if you don't that's okay too I just can't thank everyone enough that has supported me over the past four years in this in trying to find myself and figure out who I am while I am still figuring all that out um, this the love and support for the past few years have been I I can't thank you all enough and I really I I honestly I can't I'm 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 so bad at words right now um I hope that everyone will still continue to support me and I will do my best to try and make things fun for everyone I may not be the funniest person out there or the smartest I have my moments from time to time and I am one of the most awkward people you will ever meet um, I'm honestly more comfortable over chat than anything for talking with people but that's just kinda how it is um, again I do hope everyone uh, will have a wonderful day after watching this video I will see you next time with what I am not sure but thank you all again for your love and support and you have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic night.